¿Qué te anda? Él es compuesto a ti. Gracias, Sandra. Bueno, vamos a comenzar con la segunda. Let's start with the second session of the Public Policy Forum. El próximo so the next speaker eh, has two versions of the presentation. One is boring and the other one is wonderful. It's absolutely funny. So let's vote. Which do you want? Boring? Raise your hands. The only one who's voting is the author himself. And the lysergic ver version, raise your hands if you want it to be fun. So go ahead, Ariel. Remember that you have 10 minutes for the presentation. Well, good afternoon. I hope uh, lunch was uh, fine. Quite a long time ago, I sent a proposal. They told me it was boring, so I, I, I worsened it. Um, bef first of all, uh, mm, let me start with this proposal. That's quite simple. So, the, it's one only, it's one slide only, but as I want to uh, make the most of the time, I'm going to ramble on. Uh, things and then at the end uh, when I'm done with the time until one second is left the only then I'm going to talk about this so the other person uh, who presented this uh, with me is Ivan Chapero a very well-known operator uh, who participates of these events unfortunately he couldn't come although the Lynch Foundation offered uh, a complete grant uh, wanted to for for to travel foundation lynch invited him but unfortunately he had problems in the agenda so he couldn't come and he had to reject the invitation thank you lynch foundation for having invited the authors as usual so ivan i hope you're watching and all this is because of you too you are to blame. Lack 2023-2. Our leader needs us again. He needs our assistance. Our organization, as you know, is working hard on a number of projects that we are working hard for. And we've always been successful with great achievements. Our projects are typically well received. So before going to the project that's uh, calling us right now, let's see some of the very successful projects uh, that uh, we presented in the past. First of all, our uh, success in the chemtrails that help disseminate IPv4 space and planes. Uh, um, so thank you to our organization and our leader. Another very successful project are the 5G and Antennas that promote the mental control of all the population for the leaders to do for our leader to do what uh, he wants with us uh, in a very successful uh, project. Another project that was very successful is the round internet. Our leader realized that people were talking a lot about uh, the flat Earth, so organization is solidary to the flat uh, earthers. And uh, so mm, they decided that our internet should be round uh, in solidarity with uh, these people. So, and this was another very well executed and very successful project. 
a good achievement. So, I want to thank all the um, internet uh, uh, spirits. This Jordi publishing his own uh, meme. And, the, and you may say, is this uh, Photoshop? No, no, he published it uh, seriously. Thanks to our organization and our leader who decided that the guy needed to realize that he was publishing too many proposals. And there you have him, uh, Jordi publishing his own uh, meme policy, thanks to our leader. And there's, I, there's, no, there's even no need to say it. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. It had to happen someday. And this O'Flaherty giving out manners shirts. These are t-shirts that uh, they promise will appear. I think that half the people here are still waiting for it. Our leader is working hard together with our organization. So sooner or later our face will be there in that circle and we'll all have our t-shirts as the key advisor to the leader i have one i didn't want to boast about it but our organization is working and apparently sometime this week uh, these t-shirts will appear how do we do it how does organization work we've invested quite a lot of money 32 dollars that's the amount spent uh, human capital to people and several people that are to just uh, travel we use a lot of artificial intelligence and only when it works and obviously only those versions that are free of charge and you don't have to spend and this happens when you have to spend 20 hours in a connection and uh, you and when uh, the uh, m chairs tell you that your presentation is too boring so now let's start with luck 2023 2 this is the most rigid recent project. Uh, I don't know what it says. As a matter of fact, I'm against the proposal. Well, why? What's the key problem that we have today? The DNS. Who's to blame? DNS. Why did the X system uh, quit uh, working because of DNS? I hear it every day. All of us working in operations when something fails, who's to blame? Please say it. DNS or not. Carlitos, you are with the DNS. Is, is DNS to blame? Yes. The only culprit. So the proposal that uh, or has to do with the DNS. Here we have uh, the key problems. This is irrefutable. Uh, um, these are the worst problems. War, poverty, corruption, and DNS. Look at that, 78%. That's that's the number that you need to remember. So basically, those are the rationals for presenting a DNS-based proposal. Imagine a world where each IP address or IPv6 address in this case may have a name. Wouldn't that be wonderful? In IPv4, it sometimes happens. In IPv6, it would be good, but not always does it happen. So if this happened, imagine we could blame a DNS even much more than what we are doing. So we are losing the cost of opportunity of blaming DNS of things that we are not using yet. So basically the proposal is based on this. The goal of the proposal, and here I, you have the QR code. I didn't mean for you to look at the text of the proposal, but it reads as follows in section 5. If you take the manual and you go to section 5, you see that they speak of reverse DNA. Uh, that is basically a part of the manual where they speak only of IPv4, only for IPv4, and it says that the organizations that have resources need to delegate the or to use the delegation of uh, uh, reverse uh, zones of LACNIC, and nowhere do they mention uh, the existence of IPv6, nowhere. So, 
4, Section 5 of the Manual for the entire Section 5, IPv6 does not exist. And so what we propose with Ivan, the other author, is instead of going and find all the technical uh, uh, manuals and to see whether the zone has to be secure, secure with security and uh, the cache and all the technical issues, the proposal would never be accepted. So we thought of a baby step plan. That's, that's so said. Well, let's take the IPv4 text. If you scan the QR, you'll see the comparison between the old and the new text. It's in a GitHub um, repository for you to see the differences, as a matter of fact. And there, basically, you'll see that just as the IPv4 text, it has some additions where it says that if you speak of IP, one understands that it's IPv4 and IPv6, and then they mention some details on IPv6 without uh, discussing anything technical in an attempt to make the proposal absolutely uh, improvable. So there, it's not considered to the maximum technical detail, but the idea is that this would be an initial step in the adoption of the IPv6 protocol in Section 5 of the manual. So again, this is the first step. The idea is that in subsequent proposals, we may discuss the details and the finer um, uh, descriptions of IPv6. I have 16 seconds to spare. An applause for our leader. Ready, thank you. That was fun. So now let's invite Mariela Rocha who will tell us about the impact analysis. She has five minutes to do that. I'm not so fun. So now this is the boring part. It's hard to speak after Ariel. What does the leader think about that? What does the leader think? This is what typically happens after lunch. Let's listen to Miami Vice uh, background music. No, I can st I can start anyway. So let me tell you the comments, um, the feedback of uh, LACNIC uh, where, uh, on uh, the proposal sent by Ivan and Ariel. We, we are not, uh, we don't have comments on uh, the contents, but the way it is uh, presented in the form. <laughs> I remember it. I can't see the words. So it's rather a matter of uh, style. We don't have any uh, comments on the operations, but we understand that the idea was to replicate what was already available with IPv4. We propose, well, there you are. Exactly. Now this doesn't work. Mm -hmm. 
So I want you to see that we were not, I was not lying. The first comment, this is just a clarification. The zones IP6, dot ARPA and in Adder ARPA are not operated by the RIRs, but by, by IANA. So that is the first comment. It's just a detail. We also know that the spirit of uh, of the proposal is to continue with the structure of IPv4 that was in the manual for IPv4, but in both cases, for IPv4 and IPv6, it might be better to present the information as examples in an addendum and in, not in the manual itself. So our recommendations is to add examples of uh, how division and nibbles could be, of a, a slash 48 could be done it would be very useful to have it in an addendum and we also suggest to delete the explanation about the acronyms because if this changes when it says APA being a generic internet domain if this changes then this uh, will be outdated so we uh, wouldn't include the explanation of uh, the acronyms this proposal if it were uh, implemented wouldn't impact our systems that's all thank you mariela we now start the discussion period so we invite you to share with us your questions and comments in the Q&A box if you are following us by Zoom or here in the room at the microphones. You have two minutes to state your questions or comments and the author has two minutes to respond. So go ahead. The only one who read this. I feel very sad and disappointed. You deceived me. You wanted me to publish this in Twitter. And what you said is that you would be wearing a T-shirt with this amount. For next time, I promise I'll bring one. But I didn't do that meme. Nobody knows who did that meme. So I agree with the proposal. I also agree with one of the observations that I think I read in the impact analysis, if I'm not mistaken, namely that this is too long, that this example, instead of being contained in the policy text, it should be included in an annex. Or I think that maybe in a footnote or a separate document as a BCOP or guide document, there are many options to do so. Now, in fact, according to what I read in section five of the manual, I think it's section number five, yes, it already has an example for IPv4 that I think should not be there. So I think that we could carry out the exercise of improving this and reducing the policy manual in terms of the density of the text that doesn't contribute too much, but we could include examples in a different way, for example, in the form of an annex. So I do agree with the proposal and with the spirit of this proposal. In fact, the spirit was to put IPv6 on the map and somehow to try and not touch IPv4 so as not to uh, just add IPv6 and IPv6 should be similar to the one. But then we had some corrections and edits and that was all. But it can be improved perfectly well and we fully agree that we have to advance in order to modify this section correctly with example, either adding or taking out things. Thank you, Jordi. Any questions from Zoom? Franco, can you tell us if there are any questions? Good afternoon. We have no questions in the Zoom. Anyone else in the room? So there's someone over here. Wesley, go ahead. Good afternoon. I'm Wesley Correa. Just to say that I agree with this proposal, with the spirit of the proposal, and that obviously this will facilitate things to the network operators in order to continue blaming the DNS. 
That was the spirit of the proposal. Bueno. Entonces cerramos. So we close now. Thank you, everyone, for your opinions. We now are going to measure the temperature in the room to check consensus. We repeat that although the Zoom tell tool tells you that the text vote appears there, we are not voting. We're just checking the temperature in the room, and this poll does not mean that it goes to consensus, to the consensus stage. So now let us tap the consensus in the room. I'm going to ask LACNIC staff and let us start the poll in the Zoom. Um, I'm sorry, there is a comment in the Zoom. Let's check. Franco, can you sub can you assist us? Yes, correct. This is a question for Mayor Galias. I would like to know structurally where to start. Although this is a being proposed now, where did this all start? Franco, we didn't quite understand. Can you re read this out again, please? I would like to know, structurally speaking, where to start, although this is being proposed now. When did this all start? Um. Well, I don't quite understand the question, but let me summarize the proposal very briefly. When we receive blocks, address blocks, IP address blocks from LACNIC, uh, based on the policies, what we have to do is to configure things so as to generate reverse zones for those IP addresses. And that policy is described in the manual only for IPv4. We only hear about the IPv4 addresses, but never about IPv6 addresses. This is going to the basics that I'm just going to say any address 200.0.0.0 should have the name uh, leader.com, whatever. So that process is done thanks to something that is loaded in LACNIC's site, where you have a couple of DNS servers, and then the manual specifies this only for IPv4 and not for IPv6 addresses. So our proposal has to do with the fact that the text should also include today, not that it should, it's not a must, but this is not even mentioned. So what we are doing now is to include the fact that IPv6 also exists for reverse DNS. And we have to continue advancing with further proposals in order to complete and improve things. Does this answer your question? Franco, please confirm if there are any other questions or comments. There are no further comments. Thank you. So now let us go and check the temperature in the room. Are you all ready? So please, those of us of you who are in favor of the proposal, please raise your hand. Thank you. Those who are against this proposal, please raise your hand. Thank you. And any abstentions, please raise your hand. Thank you. I'd like to thank LACNIC staff. So, proposal LAC 2023 to version 1 
has completed its eight weeks of discussion on June the 4th, 2023, will complete its stage at that date. So then the moderators will communicate to the community where this proposal reaches consensus. We now invite you to continue with the discussion in the policy list. Let us now go on to the next proposal. Thank you, Ariel, for your presentation. A big round of applause for Ariel.